Hey everybody, I'm back. Hilton Bentley, uh, South Beach, Miami Beach. Beautiful place here. By South Point Park. I walked in this morning and I saw the Virgin Scarlet Lady come in. Get ready to get on the Scarlet Lady. Let's see more of that beautiful ocean. This is the beach access right behind the Hilton Bentley on South Beach, Miami Beach, Florida. Apparently the uh, chairs and umbrellas are included. But it doesn't look like there's anybody at the shack for the beach chairs. And they're all stacked. Hilton Bentley had its own access gate to the beach and the path that goes along South Point Park. This beautiful pool area, which is also a Greek restaurant where I had breakfast. Okay, room 703 at the Hilton Bentley on South Beach in Miami. That's a nice big room, nice bathroom. There is a musty smell here, but I guess that's because we're on the beach. And oh, they got some snacks. Probably have to pay for those, probably like a mini bar. Oh, nice little welcome. Nice bed, big closet, and a balcony. I was hoping, I know it's a city view, I was hoping if I could see around the corner, if I could see the beach. On this corner. Oh, nice pool. Yes, it is a beach view. All right, let's check out the mini bar. Let's see. What do we got? Cognac, tequila, ooh, vodka. You know, chips, chocolates. Cruise prices, $14 for a drink. I guess if the hotel charges almost $700 a night, that's to be expected. Thank you, Hilton Points. Interesting, in my bag, I got not just two bottles of water, they gave me some sunscreen. Fantastic. I didn't need to take the space up in my suitcase, which I already did. Okay, so due to the musty smell, they gave me a different room in the West Tower. So this is 714. The other one was 703 in the East. Oh my God, this is a big upgrade. And it smells so much nicer. Wow. Got a jacuzzi tub. The other one had a bidet too, I forgot to mention that. Nice kitchen. And a nice bed. The room is about the same size. Maybe it seems a little smaller. It's got a safe. And an iron, which I won't be using, I'm sure. <laughs> they even fixed the TV. Said my name again. Good. Two balconies. Oh no, just one.
They said it would be a bigger balcony, but it's actually a smaller balcony. We called it a terrace. I was so happy to get a change of rooms. But the one they gave me, the air conditioner was so noisy, they were even nice enough to give me another one. Okay, my third room at the Hilton Bentley on South Beach. The last one had a squeaky air conditioner. This is room 911. Wow. Now this is beautiful. Whoa. The bathroom is bigger than a lot of rooms I've stayed in before. Even though I had three different rooms and the staff was wonderfully accommodating and gave me other rooms, I was even willing to take the first room because I know it's at the beach and some are going to smell musty. But if you're not happy with the room they give you, especially at a very expensive hotel, be nice to the uh, front desk people, let them know the situation, and most of them will definitely help you out. This is a wraparound balcony with the ocean view. Staff at the Hilton Bentley definitely helped me out here. I appreciate it. That's the first one I was in. I can see a ship. When they come and go. I guess I'll be seeing a lot of them come in in the morning. Especially mine. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it informative. And if so, please smash that like button and subscribe. You really help the channel out. Thank you. Another door. This is amazing. Walk in closet. Desk. Three entrances to the balcony. Oh, I love this. Thank you, Hilton Bentley. Such an amazing hotel room. Kitchen, one bedroom suite, ocean view along the sides of that building. Hot, no bottle opener, but I brought my own. This is the walkway between the two buildings on the second floor where the gym, the spa, and the hot tub are. And there is a gym at the Hilton, Bentley, South Beach, Miami Beach. Beautiful. The Hilton Bentley is conveniently located within five blocks of all the major attractions at South Beach. I love that the Hilton Bentley was so close to all the restaurants and bars and attractions on South Beach, reminding me of spring breaks past. I sat at one of the two O Mexico taco stand locations and had a great meal and a fantastic margarita right on the sidewalk. Don't miss an opportunity to take a stroll down South Beach at night.
And this was spring break, so there was a whole bunch of parties out there. And the snake charmer was also there. You can catch a photo holding his big boa constrictor for a fee. When I got up in the morning, I took a walk down South Point Park. I got to walk past the very exclusive and expensive Nikki Beach Resort, which is within 100 yards of the Hilton Bentley. It really is a beautiful walk down this path, day or night. Then I was lucky enough to see the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady pull into the Port of Miami. I'd be getting on that ship in about 10 hours. Cool view from the walking path at the, uh, it's called South Beach Point Park. Beyond there, about 12 hours. Hotel staff was very accommodating. Not only did they let me change rooms three times and then give me one of the best suites in the hotel, they also gave me a late checkout where I was able to enjoy all the hotel amenities until noon. Right there is a canal where all the ships come in and out of. Beyond that, in a few hours. I checked out and still had a lot of time before I had to get on the ship, so I checked my luggage at the hotel desk and took another tour of South Beach. <laughs> Even in the afternoons you can see a lot of interesting things on South Beach. A lot of old cars, that was great. And then they have this awesome gym right on the beach. There was a music festival going on so they were closing the beach early and reminding people, no alcohol. I love my stay at the Hilton Bentley on South Beach in Miami. And next time I go on a cruise, I'll check it out. Hopefully I can get a great deal with the points again. Now to get on the Scarlet Lady. Ahoy!